cars finally became mainstream, it was not cool to be riding around in a horse and buggy any longer. And it wasn't particularly hip to be listening to 8-track tapes when all your friends had iPods. I'm also going to go out on a limb here and say that fax machines probably aren't a big part of your day-to-day life. Well, it's time to think again about RTL. Yep, now that high-level design methodologies are going mainstream, chunking out your digital design one clumsy line of register transfer level code at a time just isn't going to cut it. The cool kids will be cranking out designs so much faster, you'll have to drag out that big old slide rule out of your pocket protector just to calculate how much they'll beat you to market. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. High-level design methodologies offer an incredible productivity advantage over RTL. And now that they're mainstream... Wait, you didn't know they were mainstream? Well, lucky you. My guest today just happens to be Tim Van Evenhoven of Xilinx. And we're going to tell you exactly how to take advantage of high-level design with Xilinx's new HLX methodology. Before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out even more information about Xilinx's new HLX methodology. Hi, Tim. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, Amelia. You guys recently announced Vivado Design Suite HLX Edition. So what exactly is an HLX Edition? So at Xilinx, we've taken a new approach to ultra high productivity for creating and broadly deploying system platforms. This includes our new ultra fast high level design methodology, along with our next generation C, C++ and IP based design flows using Vivado high level synthesis and Vivado IP integrator for automated IP assembly. This includes leveraging C libraries, IP subsystems, configurable reference designs as a starting point. Okay. So we wanted to make the Vivado HLS technology available to all of our customers. So we're now including Vivado HLS at no extra charge with all the additions of Vivado Design Suite, even Webpack. Excellent. So we added HL for high level to the name to show this change. So now it's HL Design Edition, HL System Edition, and HL Webpack Edition. Okay. So current customers using the latest version of Avado Design Suite have immediate access to Vivado HLS to enable this new design flow. There's no need to relicense. Excellent. Um, but Tim, that's quite a mouthful, kind of like your last name. Um, what are the main points of this new methodology? Yeah, that is quite a title. I just realized that productivity has as many letters as my last name (laughs) and methodology only is one letter short of that. But anyways, we're excited to release our latest methodology guide. So we created this guide after learning from the experiences of our customers and seeing the productivity improvements they were able to achieve. So there's four key attributes for this methodology. Okay. So first is the separation of platform development and differentiated logic allowing designers to focus on their company's high value functionality. Okay. The second is the rapid configuration, generation, and closure of the platform connectivity using Vivado IP integrator with its board awareness as well as Vivado IP. All right. So the third is using high level synthesis with Vivado HLS and C, C++ libraries, as well as IP integrator for rapid implementation and system integration from C to Silicon. Last but not least is to use C-based simulation for the differentiated logic, decreasing simulation time by orders of magnitude over traditional RTL simulation. Cool. Okay. So yeah, we've seen that together, these four attributes can greatly reduce customer design cycles. Okay, so that first item you talked about was the separation of the platform and the differentiated logic. What exactly do you mean by that? So our customers want to focus on their high value functionality, not getting a standard Ethernet or DDR3 interface to work. Okay. So Vivado Design Suite is board aware and can help platform designers build a specific platform that then can be used by any number of people wanting to add their differentiated logic. Cool. So in this example, we use Vivado to create a Zinc project that can be combined with the required IO interfaces 
Each of these blocks are placed in row, leaving space for the user to put their differentiated logic. Okay. So the user can use Vivado HLS, RTL, System Generator, or an alternative flow to build the differentiated logic in the environment that they're most comfortable. So this allows our customers to focus their time on creating the differentiated logic in the environment of their choice instead of spending time debugging a DDR3 interface. Nice. So, Tim, why now? Aren't a lot of people still doing traditional RTL-based design flows? Absolutely, and yes, there are. But the tools in the IP that are available today in Vivado Design Suite, we're seeing an evolution in the way that customers are using Vivado to do their design. In the traditional Vivado RTL design flow breakdown represented by the pyramid, 20% of the time is spent in the design, and usually the remaining 80% of the time is spent just making it work. So this idea has kind of been turned on its head. Using Vivado high-level synthesis and Vivado IP integrator, designers are spending the majority of their time designing at the C level. Ah. Then they're spending the relatively less time integrating the IP in Vivado IP integrator and completing the implementation. So while keeping the quality of results close, our customers are telling us that they're seeing a 15x faster design cycle and follow on derivative design cycles that are 40x faster. Excellent. Those are some pretty impressive sounding results. Uh, How about a real world example of this methodology in action? Yeah, we've worked with a customer called Gainspeed that designs cable modems. Took about 240 people months to complete their project using a traditional RTL flow. Then starting from scratch, they developed a similar product with a much smaller team in 16 people months. Nice. So this ends up being a 15x reduction in the design cycle using the ultra-fast high-level productivity design methodology. So this diagram shows how the customer was able to do exhaustive functional tests at the C++ level at one frame per second instead of at the RTL level of one frame every five hours. Wow. So yeah, the design was changed from having 100,000 lines of HDL code to instead having 5,000 lines of C++ source. So this greatly cuts down on the iterations required at the end at the system level. Sure. For derivative designs, which you know most designs are, the benefits are even greater. When targeting a new silicon family, for example, Vivado HLS can take care of targeting the details of the new architecture instead of requiring the user to hand modify their RTL source. Ah, okay. This is just one example. We have other examples that show similar productivity gains. Wow, okay. So uh, can you wrap up this? Give me a couple of the main points. Rapid development of complex smarter systems is requiring higher levels of automation that just go beyond traditional RTL level design. So Xilinx has released their new ultra-fast high productivity methodology. So this is UG1197. And it's been proven to increase designer productivity by 15x over traditional RTL-based methodologies on the initial design, and then by 40x on derivative designs. So Xilinx's focus is really on delivering platform-based design and enabling differentiation. So to accelerate the ease of adoption for this flow, Vivado High-Level Synthesis is now included in all the HL editions of Vivado Design Suite. I'd like to encourage you to download the document from Xilinx.com and take a look for yourself. Excellent. I'll do just that. Well, Tim, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks. Good being here. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find out even more information about Xilinx's new HLX methodology. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to EE Journal's YouTube channel or the on-demand section on eejournal.com.